Hi, my name is Wes Hobson. I'm Joe Friel. And we want to welcome you to the film series that we believe will enhance your triathlon racing and training techniques. What I want to do is be able to get my feet in my shoes as quickly as possible. My workouts need to become more and more like the race I'm aiming at, the A-priority race, as I move through the season. I want you to think about raising that elbow and all you do, nice and relaxed, is just move it forward. Our job when we're trying to race is to get focused. A compilation of these lectures and seminars and training techniques were taken from one of my camps, a West Hobson performance camp, that you can visit around the country. Triathlon is a very complex sport, but it's one that you can improve in if you understand the scientific principles of training and the methods and techniques used by elite athletes. Thank you for joining us and all the best with your training. Your bike is clean, relatively, your house is clean, you have an organized life because that's efficient. How clean is your upstairs? How much static do you have going on in your head? Um, and that's what we're going to try and clean. Exactly. Sometimes we really don't know. That's really the truth. Um, and that's what we're going to try and clean out is some of the static. So first of all, would someone read this slide? Would someone else read this slide? <laughs> yeah, let's get outside the box. Marathon. Come race day, there's no need for anxiety. You've done all your training. You've done all your diet. You've done everything you could possibly do. And so when you're at the, in the water at the start of the swim, you're done. That doesn't mean you're done with your training. You can train more after you recover for the next race. But as far as that race is concerned, you're done. All you have to do is be in your race day state and race. Don't waste energies on the anxiety of what if, will I, might I, what if they. That's not being proactive, that's being reactive. So save your energies for proactive positions. This is <coughs> my power pyramid. And for me, everything works off this power pyramid. So we have what we have, our innate physical talent. I'm never going to dunk a basketball. I never was going to dunk a basketball. Not at my height, not with my uh, jumping ability or inability. We have genetic predispositions. We can maximize our innate physical talents by how we train and all the various aspects of that. And our goal, if we're going to be athletic, is to maximize th these uh, innate skills that we have. Okay. Next come the technical skills, which we get from coaches. Typically, the more talent we have and the more we nurture that talent, the higher up the food chain we're going to go in terms of the coaches we get. So we're going to get a better complement of technical skills. What you're going to get from the um, other people in this camp, from Joe and Wes, uh, is phenomenal. You're getting some of the best, or the best, uh, in this area. Now, the bottom line is all athletes have, have this at whatever level. So when you hit the top of this triangle in the pro pool, it's a small pool, um, you all have basically the same range of physical talent and you all have the same technical skills. What makes a difference? Why did Michael Jordan perform at the level he performed at and the 12th man on the Nuggets bench perform at the level he performed at? It's the bottom line. No pun intended. Um, it is the bottom line. It's maximizing your mental capacities for peak performance. And the athlete that adds that bottom line 
and uses that bottom line to support their, their innate physical skills and their technical skills will indeed take their performance to a whole different level. Does that make sense? I've mentioned all three things on this bag. What's this bag? What did you all put your bikes in to come here? What do you put your bikes in when you go to a race? A bike carrier, yeah, or cardboard boxes. Somehow, something that carries your bike, right? So you bring your bike, you bring your helmet, you bring your glasses, you bring your um, running shoes, you bring your swimsuit, except your bars, your drinks, right? This, what's this for? Your positive mental resources. My symbols, the, you know, uh, positive, it's a sign sign. Mental, I think of my triangle all the time. And this represents a sun for me, and the sun's a resource for me. Positive mental resources. When you get your bags, the first thing you're going to do, or before you get your bags, you will write down three positive mental resources on three separate sheets of paper that you want to bring to your next race so that you have conscious intent to use your mind in a constructive way during the next race. Did I say so that you have conscious intent? I did? Good, because you know what you really need to have to maximize your mental capabilities? Good. Okay, so here are the things, and I'm not going to spend time in these because there are other slides and I'll do that, that go into the mental resources, being proactive versus reactive, the ability to visualize and use the forces around you, the ability to focus and refocus. None of us can stay locked in uh, forever. The ability to relax and enjoy yourself. And if you're not enjoying this, I have to suggest that you ask yourself, why am I doing this? You must have clarity and integrity um, to become one with. And you have to have an intensity on court persona. A lot of the high school athletes I work with are like really nice individuals. They're, I mean, really kind-hearted, nice individuals. And they get on, let's say, a tennis court. And they might like really be doing some damage to their opponent. And then at the end of the match, the opponents won because they don't know how to kill when they're between the lines. They feel bad for their opponent. This is nice. This is a nice individual. I wouldn't want them to change who they are. Um, it's, it's a very special person that has these kind of qualities. But if you're racing, if you're playing athletics to win, then when you get between the lines or at the start line, whatever it looks like for whatever sport, then you need to have a whole different persona and prepare for it. 